Hey buddies, this is Engariski from Indonesia. Welcome back to my video. All right, yo 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 yo. In the previous video, we we'll have to uh, we already to learn about the customize floating button action. But when you click, it's only toss. But in this video, I want to make the another style, which is the children's menu. Okay, so let's get start. But yeah, m just make sure that you watch this video before. And then we can next into this video cool so here this is our button and when I click where is the toss going so I just remove the toss here so you can remove because we don't need again cool and then yeah first I want to create uh, but the actually I already create the icon which is the uh, icon app so this is just plus button and I want to put here sorry okay and this is plus button so when I click this plus button the children menu will be so and we can use the children menu and how to do that it's so easy we're going to design and go to the design again and here you can see float button again so we just need to create new another icon so i will use the icon search here okay and we're going to the text and i want to change it to the here okay exactly here so what i gonna do it's only to get the graffiti uh, button and right and we need to setting the margin bottom is 86 db and the margin right is 24 db okay so you will get the design like this but currently the design the button it's so and how to hidden it's easy but first before we hidden this button i just want to change the color of button so we're going to change the background to the app and background chain and maybe we can use f4 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 okay but the icon is white so we're going to icon search and change this icon to ga 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 okay cool like this i want to zoom so you can see clearly okay and then yeah here we can set in the visibility it's gun 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 <laughs> okay enough cool so i'm going to main activity and remember that we need to set in the id this is the btn sort and this is the btn plus okay so the plus one it's btn plus and the search it's btn search now we're going to main activity and i want to declare the variable for the floating action button btn search and btn plus okay and inside here we define the btn plus Float action button find R ID and BTN plus and here for the BTN search floating find R ID BTN search cool so when I click BTN plus BTN search we're gonna to setting the set visibility to in uh, visible like this oh the question is it's it's only like this yeah it's only like this you don't believe me let's try i'm going to run this application to the emulator now i want to try to click this button and the button you can see the children button will show and how to hidden this how to hidden when I click this, the button will heighten. Okay, so we're going to activity mine, and here 
you need to declare the ID into your layout ID and you can see here for the my layout okay and we we'll go back to my activity to declare the variable with coordinator layout and here my layout okay and after that here we need to my layout its coordinator layout find rid my layout and we need to set in the on click for the main layout set on click new v so btn search set visibility to the gone again to the gone again okay we're gonna to stop and play again this emulator okay so let's try to click this and the button will show and when i click this the button will hidden okay but it looks like not good we need the transition how to do that first i have the good library so let's get start i already bookmarked this library so i can give the link to you in the description on the video so oops here yeah i really thanks to you so this is the basic transition for the animation so let's get start before we try to make it just make sure that you need to import the library here and we're going to gradle and i already to import here so right now i just wanna to use it but this is little hard so let's try together okay first in here we need to copy this just copy and go to android studio and here we need to put animation here and here okay and after that we need to import the class import the class okay uh this one okay and here you cannot resolve the symbol because we don't need create the variable which is local variable so we i want to take a look again in the opera here okay so basically the transition container is the layout so we're gonna to copy this transition container and go to android again and here okay and we need to change the coordinator like this and my layout to here okay so and right here before the find id we need to declare the transition for the button so we go to android again and here okay so it should be working but let's try again so i'm gonna to stop and play this and just try again alhamdulillah it's working when you click this the transition will be so like this okay this is pretty cool do you like it yeah but by the way there are many different transition that you can use for your project like this and like this and like this yeah so many you can open this medium link i will put into description in the video so you can check it out well i think it's enough for the tutorial so you can use it for your next project so thanks everyone nice to meet you from indonesia and bye bye